been? Good? I'm good, I'm good. I, thank you. You look so cute, by the well, way. Well, you know, I wanted Wait, to look nice little, for you. You have a little thing on your suit. I got it. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank I love you. that. I well, love I men's suits today. They're so much, you know, they're, yeah, they're very well fitting athletic. and. The athletic yeah. cut. Yes, is that what that is? That's what that's called. You're, well, thanks so much for having me. You're I'm welcome. so excited it's to be here. It's great to see you. Well, let's go. We have a lot to talk about. Let's start with All right. girls. Let's start with girls. You know, to paraphrase Hannah, it, girls seems to be the voice of your generation or, or a voice of a generation. Yes. So yes. why do you think it's so popular? Well, I think that she's such a great storyteller, and I think that there's something, the, the honesty with which she tells those stories and the, the awkwardness with which she tells the stories, I think is something that um, everybody can relate to. Even if you're not a 20-something girl living in Brooklyn, I think it's still the, the anxiety that it, it uh, induces is certainly something people and, can relate and, to. And, and, as, and I mean, I think she was making a joke there, but I do think it's very sort of symbolic of what some of the struggles people are going through in their 20s, finding themselves there. Absolutely. Because I think there's a lot of angst, don't you think? Well, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I moved from Omaha, Nebraska to go to college here in New York, so I very much, I was, you know, 19 when I moved here, and um, yeah, you, you, it's t at times believe in yourself a little too much um, <laughs> at that age, and you really think you've got it all together, and then it just takes like one thing to show you that, Actually, I don't have it together. Yeah. And so, but, I mean, Omaha, Nebraska, you know, I don't know if I told you this when we met before, but my mom's from Omaha, Nebraska. Get out! Yeah, and I've never been to Omaha, Nebraska. What are you waiting for? I know, my grandfather was an architect, and he really? built a lot of homes, Tudor homes, in an area called Happy Hollow. Yeah, yeah, have sure. Have you ever heard of that? Absolutely. And apparently, Warren Buffett lived in one of the homes he that does. he... He does. Yeah, still, he I still he owns still that home. Yeah, I think he might still be in... in, yeah. in so, I mean, was it weird coming to New York from Omaha? Yeah, but I was so young and either brave or dumb that I wasn't, <laughs> yeah. really, I wasn't really thinking about it. I was just so excited to be here, and I wanted to be on Broadway so badly, and um, so I just sort of dove right in. Well, I'll say, I mean, speaking of Broadway, nothing like having, like, a huge, huge... I mean, your first role in the Book of Mormon, I mean, it was like Eureka, it was right? It pretty nuts. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I mean, it was after... I had replaced in a few Broadway shows, and I had like I had been kicking around for a while, so that was really unexpected that I got to um, to originate that role. That's where I first met you. I know I you came, came to see, and I I loved the play, but at first I talked I took my daughter, and it was wow. So you learned some new words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. You if had to have some. I don't know if they were so oh, much okay. new, but right. just uncomfortable to be said in front of me. But it yeah. was such a great show. Your image was used on all the Book of Mormon, you know, the posters and all that. Yeah, and yeah. I think, wasn't it used somehow in, in Mitt Romney's campaign? They, or? they put, um, on Newsweek, they put Mitt Romney's face oh, not, on my not body. Not by Mitt Romney. Mitt no, Romney's no, 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 no. Yes, yeah. Mitt Romney's face was on your body yeah. on, on the on cover. On Newsweek, yeah. So in a weird way, you became like the symbol of Mormonism in America. I know, and I'm sure the Mormon church has very mixed feelings about that. <laughs> I'm sure they're just... not exactly the gay Catholic <laughs> from Omaha, uh, from Omaha right? Nebraska is represent. Yeah, but yeah, I sort of became like the the accidental um, poster boy for Mormonism for a while there. That's funny. So yeah. Well, yeah. so so I know that we uh, in in this coming episode, this Sunday's episode of Girls. I mean, to say there's a lot of nudity in that show is an understatement. There's some skin. Joan. But you yeah. uh, you you decided if you can't beat them, join them, didn't you? Well, you know, if you're gonna be naked on TV, I feel like that's the perfect show to do it on. Um, so the first time I was asked, I, I was a little nervous, but said, yep, why not? And then um, this last time was a little bit easier because it was like, as you'll see in the episode, um, it, it's, a, it's a skinny dipping scene. So it's not, it's, it's pretty quick. It's nothing that my mother will be too horrified by. But having said that, I mean, is it still slightly nerve wracking for you? Yeah, absolutely. I have, they do such a nice job of like really making you feel very secure and very safe and protected. And there's not a lot of extra people around. So um, you don't feel too uh, to expose. When Al there was an episode in the, the second season that Allison Williams and I um, had sort of a sex scene, and um, we were both naked. And by she was so she's so lovely, and she's such a nice such a nice girl, um, and, and a good friend. And, and by the end of it, we were just kind of like hanging out, like in our little 
modesty covers. Do they, they, sort of put, they put, I wonder what the situation is there when you I don't watch know. scenes like you don't that. Know I'm like, what, it is. what is going on there? They must not really, I mean, there must be some protective gear. There's some protective gear. <laughs> I don't I don't know if, you'd, if you really want to know. We could, okay. I, I'll tell you later if you're okay, really curious. Okay, all right, all right. And so <laughs> you've got girls going. I mean, you have this huge success in the Book of Mormon. I mean, what do you, ideally, what do you think you want to do? I mean, do you want to keep doing television? Because I think you should probably, you'd have a big future in the movies too. Don't you think? Oh I, well, I, that would be that would be lovely. Uh, can you get? <laughs> can you talk to somebody about that? Um, no, I'm I'm I, I feel very fortunate to to have been given the opportunities that I, I have had in the past couple years. Um, I am really anxious to do more theater. Um, it's not exactly like doing a, like a full show, but um, on March 21st here, I'm going to do a concert at Carnegie Hall. Wow! With the with the New York Pops. That's great. That's pretty exciting, cool. Yeah. Right? It feels very it feels very legitimate. Um, me and my friend <laughs> Stephanie J. Block, who's also a Broadway performer. We're going to do an evening um, at the at Carnegie Hall Fine. with the props, a Broadway of just Broadway show tunes. Well, just that sounds yelling. like oh, that sounds like. I mean, if you like the Broadway, right ticket for me. Yeah, definitely. Oh, All right, no, I love All right. Broadway. Do you, would you like to go back to Broadway and do some more shows? You said you want to, but anything kind of in the hopper at all? No, I mean, it's a little, it's tricky with the, with the shooting schedule, because I mean, it's a big commitment. The Book of Mormon was like, it was a two year commitment of my life, and you can't really do a lot else. I was able to, to start Girls, but it was, it was sort of tricky scheduling stuff, but um, it's, it's a great, I mean, I really do miss it. It's, it's fantastic. Well, it's so nice to see it's so a, nice to a nice see. boy from Omaha ah, hit the big hell. time. Andrew Randall, thank you for coming Thanks by. Thanks for having Good me. Good luck with everything. Thank you. I'll be watching. Please, please. I'll be watching everything on Sunday.